Yeah, uh, we're doing the statistic part and the TV graphics part here for the Euro Championship. And uh, we're working directly on the field. Uh, this is what we do. We are doing the stats, the whole game. Yes, and uh, my partner is doing all the TV graphics, what you see, statistics of the game and everything. And you are supervising this from uh, all these computers? Yes, I'm sitting in the middle and next to me all the volunteers working for us, doing a really good job. They are uh, looking at the game, what happened, and uh, yeah, they are typing in the, the stats in the mini computer. And I am just watching what they are doing. So with this, you get instant uh, report of all the statistics of the game? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, directly after the game, we are sending all the statistics to the internet. Our stats going directly to the TV graphics and also to the CIS monitors for the press. Uh, we got this opportunity uh, in a school. I'm now in Handball Academy in Aarhus. And we got this opportunity to come here and do some statistics. I was really excited about it because to come close uh, to the match and, and see the players, how they play, and hearing the coaches is absolutely excellent. And also, I got the opportunity to go and do the same in Olympic Games in 2012. So it's absolutely brilliant to actually be here and trying it, how it is, and the atmosphere in Denmark. So it's brilliant to, to do that. So volunteering or not, it's a fantastic opportunity. But what is your uh, responsibility? What is it that you do uh, here during the matches? I'm uh, responsible for statistics which uh, players, for example, when they shoot a goal, I need to call uh, to my uh, partner and say there was a left corner goal or was assist or steps or mystical um, technical fault. So all these, when I'll say, they record it into iPod and it goes on a computer. And after the game, all the statistics going to coaches or going on a website, EHF website. So that's our job to do. So you have to stay really concentrated the whole match? Yes, absolutely. With the numbers, with the players, yeah, concentrated all the time. And not only just watching the game, I really have to focus all the time. Can you enjoy the game when you're uh, focusing on these things? The longer you do it, actually you can start to enjoy the game. At the beginning it was really, I was focused on the numbers and the players and the substitution, mostly the Denmark, they do free substitution yeah. and it's really hard. So there was a point where you had to say, oh, we need to find a solution for that. Uh, so now it's going to be a little bit easier and I start to enjoy that.